After a week of tumultuous demonstrations, Washington, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser has renamed a section of the road leading to the White House Black Lives Matter Plaza. The city also commissioned artists to paint a mural reading Black Lives Matter on the same ground that protesters occupied ahead of President Trump's controversial visit to St. John's earlier this week. We're just about uh, two blocks from Lafayette Park, which, as you know, has been shut off to regular traffic. We do have plenty of pedestrian traffic out here. You can probably see the letters in the yellow right there. Uh, despite the fact that we've had heavy, heavy rainfall, we do have still some people out here. Earlier today, we saw 16th Street transformed with those letters that you see, that yellow writing there. Those are the words, Black Lives Matter. Uh, we also, in fact, saw a sign uh, erected just above your usual 16th Street sign. You see that one there right there, Mark? You can see it says right there, Black Lives Matter. That per orders from Mayor Muriel Bowser. The mayor has also called for the removal of out-of-state National Guardsmen here sent to the city to help protect it in the wake of last weekend's violence. That, as you can imagine, is drawing sharp criticism from President Trump, who not too long ago, Martha, just had this tweet. Uh, Mayor Bowser, he writes, is grossly incompetent and in no way qualified to be running an important city like Washington, D.C. If the great men and women of the National Guard did no better than her counterpart, mayor in Minneapolis. And speaking of the violence that hit Washington, D.C., of course, we were right here on the scene uh, when that fire hit St. John's Church. Tonight, there is a reward leading to information that could lead to the arrest of the person who set the blaze. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives today announcing a $10,000 reward leading to that information.